Welcome back, we're here to talk about Sunday's huge weird time derby between Sunderland and Newcastle at the Stadium of Light. Pascal, this always seems to be a relegation battle when the two teams meet now. Start with the home side, bottom of the table. They are dropped to the bottom of the table with that 1-0 defeat at West Brom. You know, because Newcastle went and uh, won so convincingly over Norwich. But it was a big game for them, wasn't it? Allardyce's first game in charge after the international break. He'd had a bit of time to work with the team and you expected Sunderland to come out in that game and show something different. And to be honest, they didn't really do so. In the first half, they, they probably just edged the first. I'm not sure they did enough to be in front, but they had a couple of chances. Billy Jones had a header tipped over by Myhill and uh, Stephen Fletcher went through on goal. Good uh, saving challenge from Johnny Evans. But apart from that, it didn't do too much then. Soon after half-time, they can see the goal, which... You know, Allardyce, he was angry with it after the game. And you can see why, you know, Pantelimon did have two hands on the ball on the ground and Berahino back-heeled it out of his hands and then stuck it in. But from the referee's viewpoint, the linesman was looking through a crowd of players. It was a really tough call to make. And I don't think you can blame the officials too much there. It was a really difficult call to make. And to be honest, Sunderland didn't really do enough after conceding the goal to get anything, deserve to get anything out of the game. So a disappointing start for them because I think Allardyce really would have wanted to instill a bit more belief in the team and you couldn't really see it to be honest they didn't create enough chances and yeah down to the bottom of the table Allardyce did say after the match that they couldn't really blame his players for the defeat more blamed the officials for allowing that goal to stand but the fact remains still no victories this season four defeats in their last five now five points from safety already Allardyce has never been relegated in his managerial career but he's got a huge task ahead of him to uh, uh, prevent that being the case for the first time this time um, this is his first home game in charge of the club, of course, and you'd expect the fans to be behind him, get a rousing atmosphere even more so than they usually would be with a derby like that. Allardyce has never lost his first home game in charge of a Premier League side. He's won three of the four he's had before, which is a record he'll be desperate to keep. And if he can do it in this derby, then it might be the catalyst they need. It has been in the past for previous managers to, to get that run of form that helps them stay up. And there, there's no better um, match for them for Sunderland to win than this one particularly if they, they're going to turn their season around because it has been such a poor start. Mm. Well, they've had a lot of managers in the last few years, Sunderland, haven't they? But you know, some of them overall haven't done that well. But what's, one thing they've all done well is this weird time derby. You know, they've won their last five games against their rivals and certainly it's massive boots for Allardyce to fill. You know, they've had the bragging rights for a long old time now, Sunderland, over Newcastle. And this is such a huge game for the club. Allardyce, it would be just such a blow for them if he's the man. He's just come in and if he's the man who gives Newcastle their first win, I think it's since 2012. So that would be... A huge, huge blow for him, and he'll become the first Premier League manager to take charge of both teams in this derby. Manage Newcastle, of course. So, just so many things in this game point to it's just such a huge day for Allardyce. I think the way he, what the team he picks, and just how the team play, and if they can get a result, it's just such, such a massive game for him personally, for the team, for the city, for the whole area of football up there in the northeast. Just a massive, massive day. And you don't often say second game in charge is, is as big a one as this one as it is for Allardyce. But pressure is on him already, but. The pressure was on McLaren for Newcastle. He'll be feeling a lot better about himself right now and the team after that 6-2 win over Norwich last time out. First win of the season and what a win it was. So emphatically, uh, McLaren was saying for a while that a win was around the corner, but I don't think even he expected a 6-2 victory. To be fair, the scoreline did flatter his side. Norwich had their chances. They hit the post twice. They had one cleared off the line. Could have been a 6-5 match. It was that that good a game, so many chances at either end of the field, so defensively Newcastle, they, they've still got a lot to work on but in attack they were so clinical, that was the main thing for them, six shots on target, six goals, Wijnaldum who has hit the ground running since he's come to the club, he's been him and perhaps Musa Sissoko got three assists for himself and was heavily involved in another one of the goals as well, probably been their standout players in what has been such a tough start to the season, they were both on such good form against Norwich, a 6-2 victory, obviously looks really good it's not the finished product it wasn't a perfect performance but to get that first win under the belt McLaren's first win in the Premier League and um, in charge of Newcastle ahead of such a big game it's going to do them the world of good absolutely yeah but like you say they, they could have conceded five goals in that game and even though they only conceded two that's 19 they've conceded in nine games exactly the same amount as Sunderland and you know, they've lost Tim Krull for I think it's 10 months so he's going to be out Carl Darlow the reserve keeper he's also out so Rob Elliott's in goal they've got quite a long injury list Newcastle and you know, you look at their attack stats, you know, the amount of goals they've scored, that's been major, majorly boosted by those six against Norwich. And, you know, that they could get out of the bottom three this weekend, but we talked about Allardyce, how big the game this is for him, because, you know, he's got big boots to fill, given how well the Sunderland managers have done in recent years. But if McLaren can be the man to get that first Newcastle win over Sunderland, it'll be just as big for him. Their record in recent years against Sunderland is absolutely terrible. They've only scored one goal in 537 minutes. That's almost six games of football against Sunderland. So terrible in recent years against the Black Cats and if McLaren can be the man to put that right here 
you know, that, that would just be huge for him and the club. And like you said, Wijnaldum comes into this great form. He was the Dutch footballer of the year last year. So it was a good signing for them. And if he can keep pushing on the way he's going, Mitrovic getting another goal. Perez looks bright up there. Those guys up there, they look really bright, but it's defensively where they really need to improve. And if there's a team you want to play and you want to try and keep a clean sheet, it probably is Sunderland because, you know, they're really struggling. So really interesting game. A massive game for both sides. Which way do you see it going? I see a Newcastle win, actually. I think Sunderland, even though it's Allardyce's first home game in charge, they've been fantastic in recent years. I just think the, that run's going to stop in the weird time derby. They've been fantastic recently, Sunderland, but I'm just going to pick Newcastle to edge it because of that win last week. I'm going to think they're going to win 2-0. For me, it could go either way. It's a really tough one to call, but Sunderland, they just always seem to raise their game. Allardyce, against his old club, he'll want to have a point to prove because he's fairly harsh, harshly treated by Newcastle, I think. Sunderland fans are going to be up for it. The players are going to be up for it. I think I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go for a Sunderland 2-0 victory. So we're both split on this one. Thanks for joining us.